Hey, what's up? My name is Ben Giroux. And I'm Jensen Reed. And we are Ben, ben and Jensen. Jensen. This is the behind the scenes peek at our music video, Back to the A's. So, wow. I'm almost speechless as to the fact that we finished this monstrosity of a project. It's pretty crazy. I mean, we when we conceptualized it, we had no real idea of how to do it, and only with tons of people's help and teamwork were we able to put this together over the last year and a half. So after uh, Jensen and I joined forces, me coming from the comedy world, him coming from the hip hop world on our 2015 music video, Little Dude Anthem, we got about a million views on it, and we started to kind of build some momentum on our uh, music meets comedy partnership. And we worked for about two years on a project called Back to the 90s. We ultimately organically reached 117 million people, charted at number 11 on the Billboard digital charts. We hung out with the Backstreet Boys in Las Vegas. It's crazy. It was madness. One music video is taking over the internet right now, and we cannot stop singing along. Back to the 90s is on the Viralist. There's a new internet video that will be your everything. That catchy <laughs> music video about growing up in the 90s, it's gotten more than 26 million views. It's time to take you back to the 90s with a video you've probably seen on the internet already because it has over 30 million hits. And we had millions of people from all over the world that were seeing our project. And one of the things that people kept commenting, do an 80s one. Do one for the 80s. 80s, 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 80s. You know, we're just really excited for the momentum that this has caused in our own careers mm -hmm. and, you know, where this can ultimately lead. And that's all very important, taking this momentum and going forward. You guys are going to go back to the 80s, which is my decade. I love that. And we go, okay, well, what speaks to us from the 80s? Right. Like, a big, we create a huge list of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Pop culture, celebrities, things from TV, movies, animation, toys, food, anything we can possibly create to make the song. Starts with the music. Like, we have to get that conceptualized and done. The verses are hip hop. This is like a New York gritty style hip hop. LL Cool J, Run DMC. Then we had to do a hair band rock and roll chorus. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all happening. Just an excuse for us to all wear guy liner. Of course. Really. And tight pants. We enlisted our, our good friend Dirty Hollywood, who if people have seen back to the 90s, he is in the Nirvana section with the pink mohawk. Dirty's my boy, rock and roll through and through, so he helped us write the rock and roll chorus. Ben and Jensen know how to do a production. That's one thing, one thing I've learned. Vocals, it's not just Ben and myself. Dirty is on the chorus, and then our good friend uh, Payson Lewis is singing the bridge and the chorus. And our good friend Ali Feeder is handling all the female vocal parts. And then needed some synthy bits in the bridge as far as like Tears for Fears, Depeche Mode, that vibe. I've met a guy named Scott Simons, who 80s pop synth stuff is his wheelhouse. Like, he loves it. He came back with the most legit sounding uh, synth bridge ever, along with the Kenny G sax solo and like a George Michael type vocal. This is the start of you hearing us talk a lot about collaboration, and it started with the music of a big team effort. But then we realized we wrote what seemed like a completely impossible music video to shoot. Every half of every line in the song is a different iconic setup. We sat down with the real wizard behind this thing, Scott Thomas Reynolds, who's our producer, who is behind camera right now. Love you guys. <laughs> hey, Scott. And we put a plan together. You wanna to talk about the first shoot? We shot two full days um, in November. 23 setups? 23 setups in two days. And um, the very first one, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, <laughs> one of the most iconic scenes in the 80s. In November, people think California is warm. 
It was in the 30s and Ben and I got in a pool that was frozen. Haley Lautenbach played Phoebe Cates and she was such a trooper. Um, today we're filming a Back to the 80s, my favorite era, and I'm playing Phoebe Cates. 80s music had heart and soul. Oh my God, Haley, I love your work. Ah! Oh my God, your hair's different. <laughs> and then we went inside the house and I remember we chose this location specifically because it had a stairwell that looked exactly like the stairwell from Risky Business. We did a big family dinner scene uh, when brought back our mom from Back to the 90s, Amy Tolsky. I was their mom in Back to the 90s. So we're reprising the mom role, which is awesome. We did the Help, I've Fallen and I Can't Get Up commercial. We recreated that in the bathroom. I've fallen and I can't get up. The first of many times we've dressed up as old ladies in this project. Yes. Uh, and actually, times. speaking of old ladies, we finished that shoot day where we dressed as the Golden Girls. Golden Girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Golden Girls set up when they both turned towards each other. I laughed so hard I actually had to run out of the room. Uh, I think back to the second production day and we went to another house in Tarzana, California. This house provided so many interesting, iconic 80s setups for us because this was a house straight out of the 80s. It was uh, funky. I think the owner had recently passed. In the house. Right? I think so. I mean, we clapped and like there's dust everywhere. When we were in the bed for clap on, clap off, I was like. <sighs> That's right. <sighs> but it gave that really wholesome, authentic 80s vibe. Married with Children, we did with Jensen as Al Bundy in the, in the, uh, the living room of this place. So my name is Cameron Kelly and I am playing Kelly Bundy. Um, hopefully that's obvious. We did our um, Who's the Boss scene. And he's a little bit older than I am. So, how much older? <laughs> 18, 19? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the boss? And where's the beat? We did... Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap, which was awesome. These cars are 11. We rented a kit car, uh, the old Hasselhoff Knight Rider car, and we put it on the uh, driveway of this house. People were sort of getting tired at the end of that day, but we had one setup left to authentically recreate the Scarface office. Okay. Say hello to my little friend! Yeah, Jensen yours out a little bit more. Yeah. There we go, that's dynamite. I remember I told the wardrobe department, I said, hey, I'm, I'm wearing my own <laughs> suit jacket. I don't want to get fake cocaine all <laughs> over it. And then we were sensing sort of morale started to dip a little bit. Everybody was quiet. It was like, you know what? Let's just f go for it. And I remember there was this feeling of elation as we drove away from that weekend going like, oh my God, I can't believe we were able to film so much of this project. And then we laid it all out <laughs> in, the in, the, in the editing timeline. And we're like, I can't believe it. Like we're almost done. I swear to God, it was like 5% of the video. We shot 23 setups and it was nothing. Oh my God. And I a think- a weird mixture of feelings. We're gonna have to find our way to the end. That led us to shoot number two, our Tears for Fears bridge performance. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. We we looked looked at the old Tears for Fears video and made it just like that. Um, head over heels, right? I think it was head over heels. Yep, which was kind of an inspiration for Scott with the music. the The performance of those guys was just so dramatic and earnest. And then we got our buddy Chef Derek Fox, an amazing chef, like finalist on Master Chef. <laughs> a 28-year-old musician from Fort Myers, Florida. And also a sick drummer. And then we transitioned from that into Ben as Kenny G. I was wearing a, a woman's, woman's blouse, blouse yeah. for Kenny G, which, sure. We did, I think, E.T. that day. We put up a huge green screen in here. Sesame Street, E.T. phone home. Also, uh, great to bring up our buddy Brian Callahan. Brian shoots 
uh, a lot of stuff on actual VHS. And if you look at the actual VHS footage we shot of the wrestling scene, it looks like it could have come directly from the 80s. Yeah. Karate Kid, we, we've got everybody from the crew to be our audience. Yeah. We did Pee Wee. Hey, do you think we could build a corner of Pee Wee's Playhouse? Sure, no problem. So we did that. Yeah, and I was Jombie. Jombie is here. <laughs> It was weird. I took a selfie and sent it to my wife Amber, and she was like, "That's the stuff of my nightmares." Yeah, Jensen Leave me alone. as Jombie is truly the thing that still haunts my dreams every night. We went outside and did a RoboCop scene. At this point, everybody was loopy and just losing their minds of how stupid it was. The costume, admittedly, didn't fit me very well. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever fits me. <laughs> Your move, creep. Okay. We finished that first day of shoot number two. We moved on to the second day. We went to Live Art Dance Studio. Mm. One of the funniest setups of this whole thing is when I am Jane Fonda and Ben is Richard Simmons. Can I see the uh, dancer choreo? To the left, to the right, no pain, no gain. I mean, Ben's afro and his tight shorts. It was a lot of skin to show. We decided to shoot on a back lot and get a bunch of incredible dancers to sort of flank us to start the music video. I called upon uh, my dear friend Clarice Ordaz, who is a finalist from So You Think You Can Dance, truly one of the most gifted dancers in the world. How, how do you feel about uh, our formation behind you? Do you like it? I think it's fantastic. Okay. We built a custom light square, so we had a key light on our faces while we were approaching camera. This one goes out to my ladies with the stylish crimped hair and all my fellas sporting mullets with that rat tail flare. We do the cabbage patch and shoulder pads and acid wash jeans. Bon Jovi, Bowie, Tina, first we in the 80s. The thing that stands out to me the most about that backlot shoot, though, is right here, the DeLorean. Yo, hop in my DeLorean, TikTok, Ray Scott. But I got beat up by Biff and I kissed my mom, Doc. Back to the Future, bar none, is my favorite 80s movie. It's actually my favorite movie. Yeah, we got in contact with our good buddy Lenny. Lenny runs the 1.21 gigawatt guys on Facebook. So go like his DeLorean page uh, because he has hooked us up with this incredibly authentic, iconic DeLorean from Back to the Future. I'll always remember this. As the sun is going down, Lenny drives up in the DeLorean. <laughs> and the spirits of the crew lifted and it was like every childhood dream coming yeah. true all at the same time. You got chills. We got a bunch of other cool setups that day. We did our Oscar the Grouch and Big Bird scene from Sesame Street. Big Bird pimp walking down Sesame Street. Well, if you won't go away, I will. I got slimed. Oh yeah, obviously our, our Ghostbusters. With real ectoplasm, the real stuff. And one, two, one. <laughs> it was like a one take. You better not mess this yes. up. And it was a lot. We really didn't know how viscous it was gonna be. Viscous, viscous. good word, viscous. How, yeah, science class. <laughs> <laughs> we built custom uh, ecto packs. Yeah, like they were those. literally that day. Custom made ecto packs that day. The art team. While we were at the dance studio, they completely started. insane. Let's cook. Guys, thank you so very much. That is a wrap. <laughs> wrap, wrap, wrap. And so shoot three, uh, which was production day five, was smaller in scope. But we had all these random scenes that you couldn't shoot at the same place, and so we had a full day of just the miscellaneous stuff. Take me back. Maybe I should thank you. Maybe you should. Oh. <laughs> Fun back to the 90s fact for you. Uh, Jillian Kinsey, who played Tanya Harding in Back to the 90s, was actually our Shelley Long in our Cheers scene in Back to the 80s. We, we tried to, as much as we could, bring back all yeah. the people from Back to the 90s. If they were available. Shoot number four, production day six. We needed a school that could kind of provide all the sports stuff. 
St. Mary's Academy in Englewood, which is a Catholic all-girls high school. They have a film class, so they're really interested in the process, and they were able to shadow us, and we had a crew of kids learning about art, about wardrobe, about camera, about lighting. And the trick is it, uh, putting five people in the shot but making it look interesting so you just don't have five people standing in a row. We got our NBA scenes. We got our Super Bowl shuffle. Super Bowl shuffle when a miracle on ice beat the pastel soup. We're not here to start no trouble. We're just here to do the Super Bowl shuffle. Bill Buckner, ball going through the legs. One of the biggest sports blunders in history, we got that. Little roller up along first, behind the bag! It gets through Buckner! Here comes Knight and the Mets win it! Oops, way to go, Buckner! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the shaking head. Do me, uh, let's do one more. Try to tilt your chin up a little more so we're not losing your eyes. That was actually a fun little cheat that we did. They didn't have a baseball field at that school, and so we were able to kind of angle the camera down and use their track field. We brought in our own dirt. Garrett Clayton, our good friend who was in our 90s boy band and back to the 90s was generous to come play Emilio Estevez in the Breakfast Club. We weren't thinking, we were taking a Disney celebrity into a Catholic all-girls high school. We couldn't have paired it up worse. And it was like, ah! Dude, like it, was, it was so loud, we were like, Oh, Garrett arrived. Yeah. We come to an all-girls Catholic school, and we're, we bring our buddy Garrett, and we kind of forget he's super famous. Let me see that one. Giggles from Scott. It's a good sign. Yeah! <laughs> pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it, that's all. We got Revenge of the Nerds. Whoa! The 80s were out of control! Back to the 80s! Say cheese! Cheese! cheese. Great right, job, so everybody. That's the end of day six, if you can believe it. Now it's time for the craziest shoot of all. The prom. You know, everybody talks about in Back to the 90s. The video is made by us being in that's an airport, true dressed in all white, pretending to be the Backstreet Boys. So we were like, how do you one up the enormity of airplanes and an airport? Let's look like poison and let's get on stage at a high school prom and let's rock out with hundreds of people. This was an enormous undertaking to get this many people on set. We probably had about 200 people at peak capacity on set that one day. And Scott looks at me and goes, Ben, what if we got confetti cannons? <laughs> and I said, of course we have to do that. We rented two industrial grade confetti cannons and shot pounds of shining, glittery confetti into the air. The and volume it, was astounding. <laughs> to be on stage with all of our closest friends and family and our team and have a blizzard of confetti around us was, it was just next level. Our crowd at our prom was sourced from, to all of our friends and family. And we had so many people show up for us. It was a really cool, supportive environment and one that was incredibly humbling. And it was so fun for us to go through the footage afterwards, the raw footage, and, and look and see so many people we know and love legitimately having a great time. And then we had our uh, friend Lindsay Taylor, who this is another through line to back to the 90s. She played Britney and she came to play Madonna and Lindsay's just super talented dancer, choreographer. The biggest returning member of Back to the 90s though, Alex Arzu, our hero kid from Back to the 90s. What's this? 
Seriously? He kind of bookends the project again. If we could catch the skateboard in his arm. Keep them there. Uh, as he sort of flips it up. Okay. Well, we got our intro outro scene with is Riel Downs, my good friend from Henry Danger. Riel's a huge Nickelodeon star, was so kind to come out and, and be in our video. Tracking backwards to sort of reveal the line, and we're gonna land on Riel. Slay, tag me in your story, goals AF. Ew, ratchet, I'm like an influencer, I can't even. Today I've got FOMO, she didn't want to meet IRL, but YOLO, you know? Hey, student ID number, please. Oh, sorry, uh, 1984. And then, if you can believe it, we finished the project after seven production days. We're so, so grateful that you decided to give us your Saturday afternoon, so thank you so, so and much. Thank you to the whole crew. Yeah. 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 The whole, every department, lighting, camera, everybody. The number one person that I want to highlight is our director of photography, John Gardner, hey John, you're, who's you're literally me right now. who's literally filming us right now <laughs> and waving from behind camera. I, I feel like the '80s was uh, a decade lacking irony. <laughs> John's sort of keen eye for lighting a scene and angles and camera movement and his demeanor on set. It is because of his visual talent that this thing looks as extraordinary as it does. To make this happen, art is, is a, such a major thing. Lindsay Ferguson, who is our production designer, who is truly a genius. I'll pull reference images to use as inspiration for every single setup. Lindsay is able to look at an image that I show her and say, hey, yeah, no problem. We're gonna need this, 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 and this to be able to visually recreate it. Blown away at, at the level of professionalism and creativity from Lindsay and her team. And then Nina Fuller, who's our wardrobe designer. Nina spent months sourcing outfits. She would look at our reference photos and say, okay, I think we can do this and I think we can cheat this. There were so many moments in this shoot where if you were to widen the camera just a bit, you would see that we didn't have the full outfit. The Ewok. We only had enough fabric to do one arm. We hide the other arm with a bush. <laughs> we didn't have pants for Ben Stein, so if you were to widen out from the, uh, the Bueller shot, I'm not wearing any pants or shoes. <laughs> really want to point out Kristen Forgey, who's our hair and makeup artist. She is absolutely extraordinarily talented. The wig budget alone on this thing was enormous. Breaking the bank. It's like hundreds yeah. of wigs. Kristen was instrumental in sourcing wigs, fitting them to us, doing the makeup to make us look like the thing we were trying to recreate. And then she brought along Amanda Sharp, who is a wig master and makeup master. And her skills, because she has some drag queen uh, makeup skills, came That's in right. very handy for this. <laughs> yeah. Just getting my uh, hourly haircut on the set of Back to the 80s. Uh, I just want to highlight quickly our other producers on the project. So in addition to Scott, who's been with us the entire way, our buddy John Rosenblum, Mark Barnes, you might recognize him as Mr. T from the video. Our friend Michelle Love Santoro, Henry Beal, who helped produce our epic 80s prom scene, uh, and then our pal Sean Ritter, who helped out on shoot number one. That's the takeaway. I mean, it really, it's cliche, but teamwork makes the dream work. Just incredible talent. Every level, every department, every role, the talent. But we just take a lot of pride in the team aspect of this. We are the ones talking right now, but when you see the credits of this video and the number of names, every single department working together for a common goal. It's humbling and it's also exciting because they allow us to take our vision from an idea that's like nothing there and then make it into this amazing thing. We're really nostalgic guys, and we hope that many, many people will join us as they did for Back to the 90s in celebrating the entire decade of the 80s. And thank you so much for just the support, for watching, for sharing. Let's go back to the 80s. Let's do it.